your hands together, Nate Robinson Jr. Thank you guys. Really digging this mic stand you guys got here, Vic. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it was put together by the little rascals. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucking great. Anyway, um, no, I gotta be honest, I don't go by Nate anymore. Uh, yeah, no. Recently, I've started going by a new stage name. I now perform under the name The Anonymous Comic. <laughs> uh, it's not because I'm trying to be one of those cyber activists or anything like that. It's just apparently no one knows who the fuck I am still. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe this will change things. <laughs> now, originally, I was going to dedicate my whole set tonight to being a bunch of jokes that I had written about circumcision <laughs> but uh thankfully they got cut so <laughs> yeah. all right you know i'll do one i'll do one i'll do one okay you guys you guys ever wonder what those uncircumcised guys do with all that extra skin in their spare time mm -hmm. <laughs> like i imagine much of their free time is spent reenacting scenes from the movie alien you know, with the... You know. <laughs> 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 see, honestly, my set should be more of like a PSA for what happens when you smoke too much weed. <laughs> 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 like, everything in moderation is cool, but, you know, once you start to smoke too much, your thoughts, like, start to go down a much darker path. <laughs> like, you don't... Unfortunately, you don't get to melt into chairs and shit. No, like when you smoke weed, like I do, like I was smoking on my way to work, and uh, I took maybe one too many hits out of the joint, because for ten minutes in traffic, all I could think about was, you know, what would happen if you put pop rocks in a vagina? <laughs> 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 like it serves multiple purposes. Like for the guys who aren't really that aware, like it sets off alarm when their girl's wet and in the mood. <laughs> And on top of that, like, <laughs> it gives the vagina a nice, sweet, earthy aftertaste. It's not <laughs> worth it at all. Wow. Started dabbing recently, which has taken smoking up to another level. Which, yeah. Yeah, it sounds cool, but when, you know, 30 minutes into it, you're just sitting on the beanbag chair wondering if my dick is the perfect fit for my own asshole. <laughs> it really makes me question how much weed I really smoke, you know? I don't know, it's just... If you really want to get kids to stop smoking weed, tell them how much it's going to affect their everyday lives, you know? I had to stop using Snapchat completely because of weed. You know, uh, if you don't know how Snapchat works, basically it's... You send a pic or a video to a friend of yours and then two or three hours later they respond. But in pothead time, that's like fucking weeks. <laughs> and by that point, I have no idea what it is I sent in the first place and I'm just trying to piece together what I could have sent. And what, what got me off Snapchat officially was like I was talking to this one chick Danielle for a while and uh, I sent her one of those late night snaps after I'd smoked a bunch of weed. And I woke up the next morning to her response. And all it was was just one word, 17 letters. It was just like, aww. And, you know, for the life of me, I couldn't remember if I sent her, like, a video of my cats doing something adorable or a dick pic. And uh, <laughs> that's just not the type of confusion I need in my life. So I got rid of Snapchat instead of getting rid of weed. Oh, God. You gotta admit, uh, I'm pretty excited to make it here out to you guys tonight for the Hot Tonight Show. Thank yeah. Thanks for having me. Woo. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it because um, I was really sick the last couple of days. You know, I got food poisoning, I think. I had the shakes, threw up like three times. I was so sick, I couldn't even jerk off. <laughs> yeah, I know, it sounds like funny to you guys, but for me that was a real, this is a real big deal. 
Like, my whole life, no matter what trials and tribulations I was going through, I always knew I'd be able to rub one out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I've always considered myself the Maya Angelou of masturbation. Mm -hmm. You could cut me with your lies. <laughs> you could hurt me with your words. And even in the event of my grandmother's demise, still, like dust, I'll rise. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you guys who didn't get that joke, it's a smart joke. I don't blame you. I blame your parents. <laughs> Public education in this country is terrible. Oh, man. I, uh, summertime is, is in full effect now. Got to be honest with you guys, I'm not really a fan of anything over 85 degrees, so <laughs> this wave of 95 and up has been killing me. I don't really like the sand or the ocean. But don't get me wrong, like, I do love summer. Like, I don't want to come across as morbid or anything like that. You know, you're probably thinking if you don't like the weather and you don't really give a shit about the beach, why do you love summertime so much? You know, well, because for me, summer means you finally get a break from all these school shootings. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <coughs> Sensitive subject. Trust me, I know. Like, I have a sister in high school. Don't you think it keeps me up at night, knowing that any day she could be next? Because it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm concerned. You know, I love my sister. She's a feminist. She's outspoken, driven. And if, and if I know my sister, she's already given plenty of thought about becoming the first female school shooter. <laughs> we could talk about equality some other time. You know, see, it's just, <laughs> these kids these days, they're growing up in a different world than we grew up in, you know? It's like, when I was a kid, the games we played were established classics, you know? Nowadays, they play the same games, just slightly revised. Like, you guys know the game 7-Up, right? 7-Up? Now, now it's just called 7-Down. <laughs> <laughs> duck Duck Goose is turned into Duck Duck Bullet. <laughs> Slightly more accurate because, I mean, ducks and geese never congregate together. And kids and bullets are about as American as apple pie these days. <laughs> I'm just saying that I wish things could go back to the way when I, when I was a kid. You know, back when bullied kids such as myself would fantasize about killing themselves instead of the whole class, you know? <laughs> Make America great again is basically what I'm trying to say. Wow. Is that dark? No, it's too dark. Well, I'll end on that note. You guys have been great. Yeah! Nate Robinson Jr.